Hi, I'm State Representative Patrick Windhorst, uh, the 118th District, which is all or parts of the southernmost 11 counties. I represent a district that borders Kentucky, Indiana, and Missouri. The bridge from my hometown of Metropolis crosses the Ohio River into Paducah, Kentucky. On Friday last week, gasoline was 72 cents cheaper in Missouri and 51 cents cheaper in Kentucky than in Illinois on average. Yesterday, at Sam's Club in Paducah, motorists could buy a gallon of gas for $3.78 at Murphy Express. It was $3.85. At Murphy USA, it was $3.87, and at the Paducah BP, it was $3.88. Just across the river, here in Illinois, in Metropolis, the Metropolis Marathon, gas was selling for $4.49. Other gas stations had gas at $4.59. According to the American Petroleum Industry, we were paying $0.78 cents in taxes per gallon in January of 2021. That number ranked second highest behind only California, taking into consideration our state's combined motor fuel tax, sales tax, and federal taxes on gasoline. Residents of Illinois are heading across the border to Kentucky, Indiana, and Missouri, not just to buy gas, but to buy other products as well. Our combined sales tax, property tax, and income taxes, and fuel taxes are consistently ranked as the highest in the nation. Inflation is hitting record 40-year highs every single month. Middle-class families and hard-working people are being squeezed at the gas pump and at the grocery store. It is easy to point out the problems as every member standing with me today has heard from their constituents who are struggling to make ends meet. The question is, what are we going to do about it? I have filed legislation, HB 5481, that would suspend the sales tax on motor fuel when the rate of inflation measured by the Consumer Price Index is more than 3% over the previous 12-month period. I am also co-sponsoring legislation, House Bill 5723, along with Leader Mark Batnick, represent, Representatives Paul Jacobs, and Dan Swanson, that would freeze the rate of sales tax for motor fuel at 18 cents per gallon of gas. My colleagues and I have all sponsored legislation that would freeze, suspend, or outright reduce property taxes, various sales taxes, income tax, and these fuel taxes over the course of this General Assembly. None of our proposals have been brought for even a subject matter hearing by the Democrats. The lack of action by the Democratic majority on this issue of inflation and high gas prices is inexcusable and is why I'm standing here today with my colleagues. The families we represent deserve better. And we can take action as a state to help ease the burden they are facing every time they fill up their gas tank or buy groceries at the grocery store.